okay use the quadratic formula to solve for this equation Nicole can you tell me what is the quadratic formula x is equal to what So if I have ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, what is x is equal to? Can you just tell me the formula? Negative 4 plus or minus the uh, square root of 24 over 2. Okay, so, so the formula would be uh, minus b plus and minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. That's what you meant, right? So in this case, uh, your, your a is equal to 1. That's the coefficient of x squared. Your b is coefficient of uh, x, which is 4. And uh, c is the constant here, negative 2. So let's go ahead and plug everything in here. Substitute for everywhere you see b you're going to substitute 4 so the minus 4 plus and minus square root of b squared would be 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 2 and then a is 1 here so we get minus 4 plus and minus square root of 16 like you said minus 8 over 2 so now we need to reduce this we have 16 minus 8 is equal to 8 so x is equal to minus 4 plus and minus square root of 8 over 2 okay that's what you said, Nicole, right? You know, I um, I added the eight, but then once I minus the eight, I forgot to divide by two on all of them. Okay. Now, can I reduce this? Is this reducible? Yes. Okay. How do you reduce them? So the square root of 8 would be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 4 times 2. So part of 8 is completely squared, right? So we get 2 radical 2. So I'm going to replace 8 with 2 radical 2 over 2. So you just you said you forgot to include the this number here at the bottom of the fraction, right? Okay, so how do you reduce them now, Nicole? Each of these are factor of 2, right? This is right. 2. Okay, so you can uh, divide each term by 2, right? Or factor a 2 up, uh, at the top. Let's factor the 2. So factor a 2 again, minus 2 plus and minus radical 2 over 2. Now you clearly see you can reduce this this 2 here. Or you could say, alright, this is a factor of 2, half of 4 is 2, half of negative 4 is negative 2, and half of 2 radical 2 would be radical 2, and half of 2 would be 1. So either way you look at it, you get minus 2 plus and minus radical 2 over 1 and the correct choice is what then, Nicole? You picked a D and B earlier. C. Okay. Yeah, the correct choice is C.